we've moved over to uh, another section and we're in front of the hangar by the finishing straight and we have a row of rather nice looking uh, saloon cars here the gordon keebles and um, we're going to talk to one of the owners here nigel hi nigel hi there nice to meet you uh it's a gordon keeble i know Indeed. nothing more about this car so you're going to ah, tell me all about it british supercar of the 60s so they built 99 originally one more was built afterwards from parts uh, I think there's actually 101, really, in okay. reality. Um, so it's only 101 of these cars? Ever built, yeah. And we've got quite a few here today. Yeah, pretty good, eight of us here today. So we've got a good percentage, good turnout. really, of all the cars. Absolutely. In that number, yeah. So it's nice. Um, so, yes, tell us a little bit more about the car. Okay, so it's a V8, American V8, yeah. Italian design, Gigaro did the design, and British built. So probably best of all worlds, I'd say. Right, and um, where were these built? These were built uh, near Portsmouth, so uh, Showling was most of them were built. Right, okay, so not a Midlands based thing as you might expect. No, from not these, definitely but this not. Is down here in Portsmouth. Um, so, what was the period these were built in? 1964 to 66. Okay. The prototype, which uh, isn't here today, was built in 1961, I think. Okay. So, um, yeah, not, not a very long period, really. Was it? No, sadly not. What, so, what was the story? How did they. Why do they stop? Really? Uh, well, they stopped because uh, they had a problem getting power steering um, racks. Um, uh, there was a strike at the factory, so they couldn't get those, so they couldn't get the cars out the door. Apparently, they also had a problem with the engines being delivered to the wrong place. Right. So all of that just took them out of business. So they, they went out of business once in 1965, yeah. restarted, and then went out again business again in 1966. Mm. That's and a that shame, was, isn't it? And that was it. They are a beautiful looking car. Oh, they're a lovely um, car. They're very nice. Very powerful. Faster than yeah. Aston Martin in their day. What was the engine size on this? 5.4 uh, litre. 5.4 litre, the V8? A V8, American V8. Yeah, American V8, yeah. V8 engines. Do you want to see? Yes, we do. I was just about to say, could we pop the bonnet? Yeah, no problem. There we go, that, that certainly does look impressive. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing engine, lots and lots of torque, no problem at all. And what sort of performance is this then? Um, I think it was 130 miles an hour and something like 6 point something seconds, 0 to 60. So for its time, really fast. But then it's fiberglass, so really light. Okay, right. I did see the bonnet wobble there, and I thought, is that fiberglass? It is, yeah. The, it, it is. The prototype the whole... was steel, but all of the rest were um, right. fiberglass. So is that all the bodywork? All or? of the bodywork, yeah. yeah. On, a, on a space frame chassis, so box frame. All right, okay. So it makes it pretty lightweight then. Very lightweight, that, but, but good stopping because it had disc brakes all round. Yeah. Um, so fast and capable. Yeah, I mean, it looks quite luxurious inside as well. Yeah, mine's a little um, bit modified. That's the person is it before me had wood put in, which I oh, right. they, have to they say I don't oh, like very much, right. but yeah. I'll eventually so get they, to... they weren't originally Well, they, like they were originally vinyl. Okay. But you'll see uh, the one next to us here is more original. That one's got yeah. vinyl still, and that's original colour, original paintwork mainly as well, I think. Okay. Can we open the door so course, my, yeah. my cameraman yes, here can have a, a look in? There he goes. It's a bit like an aircraft <laughs> cockpit, isn't it? <laughs> it lots is, of, with all your, your switches lots and dials. Lots of switches, dials, yeah, absolutely. And were they all auto boxes? Or? No, they, they were actually all manual. So this oh, one's had an oh, auto right, box put, put in. put in, okay. So, but a couple of the cars have. There's another one up the way here that's yeah. got an auto box as well. So they, they were put in by the factory, were they, or they were an aftermarket? No, no, aftermarket. These were aftermarket. I think the V8 sort of suits the engine more. Most of the American cars would have had automatics, so they do suit it quite well. I was thinking they would all be autos, you know. As but I say, I'm most surprised of them, they're not. they were originally um, vinyl, but this is leather. This is a leather interior. Yeah. And a lot of them have nice. been retrimmed, as you can see. Yeah, and leather as well. This says that it's been rebuilt. We have a plaque. It does, yes. By the Gordon yeah. Keeble Car Centre, Brackley, Northampton. Absolutely. Ernie 1991. Not was, yeah, Ernie Knott was the owner of that. He was the person who started the uh, club up. Okay. And was president until his death. Yeah. 
His so wife is still the treasurer. He had a car business and then he decided that he would quite like Gordon Keebles and yeah. saw there was a market for them and so you'll find a lot of them have been worked on by him. Right. Uh, the one here has got a plaque on its rear window that's okay. original. So he, he restored them a bit? And he restored a lot of them, yes, and then did work on a lot of them, them. Yeah. Uh, changed the steering racks, changed the braking systems in lots of them. So a lot of them had work done on them. Right. Um, it must be nice cruising in this. It's a, it's a cruising car, I guess. It, it is, yeah. yeah. Not, not out and out speed, although no. it's fast enough. But yeah, cruising is what it's good at. I should think so. Comfortable for those long European tours. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Been yep. on some of those? I've been, uh, not in this car, but in other cars, but Another. not yet. I've had this for about a year or so. So. Oh, right. Okay. A fairly recent acquisition. Yeah. Then. This. So I'm looking you forward to doing so. No, I, actually, I, when I was at school, I had a Gordon Keeble on my dorm wall, so okay. I had to have one eventually. <laughs> that was your inspiration. It was, all, all yeah, that, that or a Lamborghini, and those are a little bit pricey. Well, yeah, yeah. But lovely. It's nice to see, as I say, so many of them here today. It's a remarkable it's turnout, really, really good, isn't it? Very good turnout. Yeah. Very good. Well, thank you for showing us around your car. You're welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you.